Um, so we got home and um, it was he raining really heavily and we could see there were like puddles growing on the driveway. And I thought to myself, we should get the car up to a neighbor's house just like in case. And then um, we kind of got in, unpacked our bags and stuff. And we looked out the window and it was kind of like getting up by the post box, like flooding, like how it was last time. We knew it was gonna keep coming. And then I just got a point in my mind um, like at the post box so I could tell if it was coming higher and I went away for about two minutes and came back it was already a lot higher so I think it was moving like the water levels were moving a lot quicker than last time which was really nerve-wracking and then we obviously just got all valuable items and everything just up high and um, when the firefighters came they really strongly advised us to leave and that was one thing I didn't want to do because I wanted to know what's happening I like I didn't like to be in in the dark of what's happening to my house and um, so then they evacuated us. They came up to our back door and they said um, you guys need to get out so we grabbed everything and got in the boat. They put on life jackets and they rowed us out of our property um, onto the other side of the bridge where it was dry and then we got picked up from there and got taken to our neighbours. We obviously had no power or service at this point, so we couldn't really contact anyone, let them know. But then the neighbours are higher up, so that's when we kind of let everyone know and got as much help as we could get. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or we'll check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.